Okay, here we are. And again, they have the Enzo's hideaway is right there downstairs. Last time I was here, I ate at the Pizza Ponte, which is kind of like connected here to Maria and Enzo's. So I'm really looking forward to trying out the sit down now. <laughs> So here's a little overview of their lunch menu. Like you can see the um, characters in flight balloon is just out that window there. I wonder, I don't see, they kind of have the net around it. I wonder if it's grounded for right now. I didn't think it was that windy out, but maybe, maybe they're just not going up. So yeah, I think I am actually going to go with this lunch special that they have. It is served with breadsticks, so you get a choice of one from this category and then one from down here in this category. So I think I want to go with the Caesar salad and then the chicken parmesan, chicken primavera. That looks really good. So they just brought us out the bread. It looks really good. And then what did they give us over here? What is this? It looks like the olive oil. Olive oil. Ooh, I love dipping like the warm bread in olive oil. Okay, let's go in on this right now. <laughs> All right, so let's see. So my parents got the wine flight here. So what, which one you want for the red flight? Yeah, the red flight. So this would be the lightest, which is a Zinfandel. This one would be more like a Cab or a Merlot. And this is more like, this is your driest, driest red, one. which yeah. would be more like a Barolo or something, so. Okay. Yes. And then we all just got our salads came out, so we all went for the Caesar. All of us ended up doing that um, lunch special because it sounded really good. So we all actually got the exact things from it, the exact selections. We all did the Caesar salad and then the chicken parmesan. And then they said this comes complimentary with the lunch special. So it is breadsticks. What was this as well? It was pickled, 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 pickled vegetables and then what was this one right over here? Candy, some sort of fruit. candied yeah. fruit sauce yeah. to dip it in. It on the, I thought it was a fruit on the menu. I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> That's mustard. It's like a mustard. Okay. Yeah, there was something though about fruit on the menu, but we'll, we'll try that out. This looks really good. All right, here is the chicken parmesan. This looks so so good. The Caesar salad also was excellent. My parents, they all got the same exact thing here. Okay. Let's see, this looks really good. Oh, look, it's the pasta on the bottom. Wow. So we just finished our meal here, Marie and Enzo's. It was excellent. I, we were just saying we would definitely come back here again. The food was so good. I think that was the best chicken parmesan I've ever had in my whole life. I think the sauce, the red sauce was in. It was just everything about it. The chicken was so tender and moist. And, oh, I loved it. The breading that was on the chicken, the cheese, everything about it. I absolutely love that dish. We can come back here again in a heartbeat. Right now at lunch, it's very, very quiet. It's a nice kind of relaxed atmosphere in here right now. So here's kind of a little overview of where we're eating. They sat us right here in the main dining room, and then they have some different, like, there's all the different gates, and I think upstairs there, there's maybe more seating. And then there's the first class lounge right over in there. I know there's some more tables that way also. But yeah, the whole thing is themed to like an airport terminal. So you have your gate numbers and everything like that. All right, so now they just brought us out the dessert menu. They said the cannoli is really good. I do love a cannoli. <laughs> and then they were also, we saw someone at the other table got this thing here, this like frozen coffee. It's like an espresso gelato, delicious looking thing. Let's make that sound good. Yeah. <laughs> Our lunch 
was excellent. We will be back there again very soon at Maria and Enzo's because it was so, so good. Great service, wonderful food. It was relaxing. It was very relaxing just sitting there. It's quiet, peaceful, yes. looking out at the water there. Yeah, you can overlook the Disney Springs, the characters in the flight balloon. It was great, yeah. So now we are walking around Disney Springs for a little bit. And then I think we're gonna go over to Epcot. Is that still the plan? Yeah, I yeah. Had a very fast pass that I switched oh, to yeah. before the <laughs> Magic Kingdom, but then switched to that. So <laughs> that's what everybody wants to do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll do Epcot then in a little bit. So right now we're gonna just kind of walk around, take in the day. <laughs> So right out here, this is the construction for the NBA experience. This used to be the um, Disney Quest. So it's crazy to see the building is all now being demolished and like completely gutted for what's to come. It's pretty neat to see the behind the scenes. And then over here on this side, we have, um, this is coming soon. How do you pronounce this? Holeo? Holeo? Holeo by Jose Andreas. So this is coming in here. This used to be where, um, what was it called? It's um, Wolfgang Puck, his sit-down restaurant, used to be right here. We ate there one time, and it was good, but it wasn't like anything we wanted to rush back to type thing. So it'll be cool to see now this place is coming. The, there'll be Mexican now here. So that'll be pretty interesting. So that, I think it said 2019 is when it's coming inside of the boutique the boathouse gift shop oh yeah here's my wristlet that i have i got this when we were down at the beach last summer by this brand it's so cute i got the wristlet in the florida style i absolutely love it so here they also have a wallet and then a bigger a few different sizes of a purse and then oh look this is for california they have southern california Oh, that's really cool. Oh, here they have like the Northeastern Harbor. Oh, that's adorable. I just realized they have a boathouse spirit jersey. That's cool. Do they have it in, oh, it's a different one. Springs looking beautiful as always. Yeah, this is a good uh, computer picture. <laughs> we were just looking at the menu here at T Rex Cafe because we've never eaten here before. But it's kind of along the lines of kind of like a rainforest cafe. I believe they're owned by the same company, that Landry's company. But we were walking up here and we've never realized that they have, kind of like they do at Animal Kingdom, a little dig site for the kids to come in and dig up bones and things. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, we're going in World of Disney again. Oh my gosh, I just came running over here because I was like, I've never seen that before. It's Orangeburg Greetings from Florida. That's cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. It has Walt Disney World. $32.99. Okay, so we're now pulling into the Epcot parking lot. So we left Disney Springs. I did end up getting that um, orange bird um, tank top I was looking at because it was so cute. I had never seen anything like that. I was looking at the other night here in Epcot. They had the festival orange bird shirt, but I like that this one had like, the Florida logo on it. I like the pink color. So yeah, I was really excited. I had not seen that anywhere else yet this trip. I feel like it's a brand new item. So I'm like, I'm quite excited <laughs> that I was at the right place at the right time and got that. So then we walked around. We went in Ghirardelli to get our free chocolate because it's not a trip to Disney Springs unless you swing in there for chocolate. And yeah, then we headed out and now we are arriving at, let's see, there it is, Epcot. So we just got into Epcot. See some more of the flower and garden things. 
Apologizing for power test. <laughs>